How's it going, Jasper from Nemo Codes here. This is a quick update video to my Langchang AI plus Flutterflow course. Um, so the key changes is to how the Superbase Absurd and Query Flow works now after uh, Flowwise update to the Superbase uh, node. So to quickly go back to what we previously had is that we have a PDF Absurd flow where we use a node to, we first chop down a PDF file, absurd it into uh, your super base. And this node, as we can see right now, has these notification icon that says it will be deprecated soon, so you have to update it. And this is the whole reason why we wanna update it now, because it's not like this flow doesn't work anymore. Uh, it's just after Flowwise future update, this won't, this will no longer be available. And what we previously had are three flows. One is PDF absurd, and after you have upserted your PDF file uh, as embeddings into your vector database, your super base, uh, you then use a query uh, flow to actually uh, ask for information about the embeddings. And then uh, the QA chain will actually retrieve the information and spit out an output to answer your question specifically around uh, the documents, the embeddings you want to search through. So if um, after this Flowwise update, um, they have basically com combined these two flows. So absurd and querying are actually combined into one flow. As you can see, there's only one node called Superbase. It's no longer called Superbase absurd document and Superbase load existing index. It's just called Superbase. So this one node can handle both absurding and also querying. And this is the main change. You can essentially combine um, upsetting your document and then querying your document into one chat flow instead of separating them out into two flows. Um, this is great, uh, but for our course, actually, we still need a query flow. We still need this universal query flow. It's just we need to swap out this node as well. Um, the reason is because we also have a web absurd flow, right? It's because we want to absurd two types of documents. One is website scraped content, and also one is PDF document. So because we're mixing these two, uh, we can't really just uh, use one flow to query these two um, types because you can't really put uh, connect two nodes into this one uh, point of contact document, right? So this is why we still for our course, we still need a way to um, upsert a PDF and we still need a way to upsert web, a web scrape content. And also we still need a universal query flow to, to, talk, uh, to, to ask for information um, from our database. That's why we call this universal query is because this is just a universal chat flow to ask for uh, all the information in our database, and it can either be from a document loader or it can be from a web scraper. So in terms of chat flow, after the Flowwise update, it's not like we have reduced our chat flows. It's, it's just we have to update the notes. Um, but obviously, if your application only needs one type, for example, you only want user to upsert PDF type, then obviously you only need one chat flow to realize uh, both upsetting and also query. And let me show you how to do that. Let's use, let's start with PDF. What changes need to be made? So very simply put is you just have to switch out all the uh, uh, nodes that has this icon to the new one. So all, all you have to search for, for the OpenAI one, it's uh, you just search for an OpenAI node, switch it out as long as you don't see these uh, icon that means you are using the latest version 3 and also for recursive character text splitter as long as you don't see this icon that means you are using the latest version 2. Once you have switched this out for super base node now you have to search for super base and you can see three now if you search super base one is absurd one is load existing that's going to be deprecated pretty soon so all you need now is this new super base node it's just called super base and you have to connect them like this one. Um, it's pretty much all the connecting bits are exactly the same. You don't have to do anything new about it. All you have to do is switch out the nodes to the latest version and connect your credentials 
put in your project URL and a table name, query name, and you are done. What is different is when you are up, uh, when you're upsetting a query, you are essentially using two different endpoints. You are using two different API endpoints now. So before, all of the endpoints are just simply in this hopper. But right now, after this change, this endpoint, basically prediction endpoint, it's uh, what we used to do. Uh, it's basically for query. So predict prediction endpoint is for querying. All these is not going to be changing. And prediction and plus your chat flow ID. Um, this basically means you are asking for information from your Superbase, your querying information. But if you want to upsert, you have to click this green button, click show API. And now you can see after V1, after your base URL, if you want to upsert, you have to follow up with vector, upsert, and your chat flow ID. With this endpoint, you are actually doing the upsert action. Uh, so that's the only difference. If you just want to use, instead of like connecting to an API, connecting to a Flutterflow, if you just want to use Flutterflow's UI, um, it's, it's the same for you. Um, if you want to upsert, all you have to do is upload your PDF here. And once you are done, you can click this button to upsert. And once it's upserted, you can simply open up this chat bubble and you can start chatting with your PDF file. Um, but obviously, if you are connecting to Flutterflow, if you follow the course, um, this is the only change. You have two different endpoints on the same chat flow to, uh, to execute either upsert or uh, query respectively. Um, and this is the same for web upsert. Switch out the node. If you don't see any yellow icon, that's good. That means you're up to date. And it's the same if you want to query from uh, query from this flow. Use the prediction endpoint. If you want to upsert, make sure you click on show API and use the vector slash upsert endpoint. And that's the only change. Uh, so I have up updated the chat flow template on uh, basically the course material. So all of the chat flow templates, I have left them uh, on a Google Drive link. So you can just simply download them and you can just uh, load the chat flow from here. So all of that hasn't changed. Majority of the videos still work. The endpoints are the only changes you have to make. And what does it mean on the Flutterflow side? Um, so for in part two, basically where we talk about how to connect API, how to configure API on Flutterflow and then uh, configure them, connect them with the front end and configure the logics. So the logics bit, the front end bit hasn't changed one bit. The only thing you need to change is the API endpoints. As we have talked about, because now the, 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 there's a new upsert endpoint that we have to uh, to use for both website upsert and also PDF upsert, uh, we have to do some changes to our API endpoints. So with our base URL, we stop at v1 slash. So we stop here. Obviously, these is my own domain. Yours will look very different. So make sure you, you don't just right away copy my domain. But this is the endpoint base URL. You stop at v1 slash. And for different um, upsert endpoints, for example, PDF upsert, um, you simply use what you have here. You follow up with vector upsert and your own chat flow ID. You put it here and okay. remember to use your own. If you have purchased my template, um, I have already made the changes. This is the newest template. Everything, every, uh, all the changes are already in here. And the rest is the same as my previous video. All of the variables, all of the bodies and how you get your metadata uh, how you configure all of that, it's all the same. All you have to change is the endpoint for upsert. And for web upsert, it's the same vector upsert, and then use your own chat flow ID. And all of these stay the same. Um, and for universal query, obviously, after you have changed the base URL, make sure you use uh, the right prediction. Um, oh, before I forget, you also have to update your universal query node. So basically, I will walk you guys through here. So because the load existing index is going to be deprecated soon, you delete that, go for Superbase, and use the new one, connect your embeddings. In the document, you don't need to connect anything. 
Yeah, with the OpenAI, make sure you delete that. OpenAI. And you... And you use the same. As long as you don't see the icon, that means yours is up to date. And you just connect that. And connect the retriever to... Yeah, connect the retriever to uh, the vector store retriever. And this is it. Click save. And this is your new universal query um, chat flow. You, all you have to do is to update the node. And obviously, don't forget to populate everything here. And make sure you grab your endpoint after V1 prediction in your chat flow ID. Put it in here. And the rest of the, the body, the JSON body, how that's structured, the variables stay the same. And this is it. Really, all you have to change is to make sure update the nodes on Flowwise side and also grab the right uh, API endpoint for upsert and also for query. Uh, for our course, the three uh, endpoints uh, structure, basically, uh, it still stay the same. It's just you have to change the endpoint and the base URL a little bit. Um, and the rest on the front end, everything, the logics, how it's connected, you can still follow uh, the part two of our course video. And this is it today. Uh, quick update on just to answer questions that people have been asking me because they've been saying a lot of the uh, endpoints are not working for them. Um, so just to quickly answer that, when you test my uh, app, sometimes it's not working. It's because I haven't been paying for Superbase. So it will hit a limit. Uh, so when you try it, if it doesn't work, that means that probably hit my daily limit. I have to clear out my uh, Superbase back to uh, basically clear out embeddings. Um, and also in terms of the endpoints, as long as you haven't updated your uh, Flowwise to the newest version, these should still work, but I will highly recommend to follow this video and to get the changes done because it, eventually you need to update your Flowwise and then all of these will be deprecated. Um, and this is it. Join my Discord to ask me more questions and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.